but looking at Manchester City as a whole and how they operate from the front in terms of pressing, in terms of winning the ball back, something which Pep Guardiola has come to great acclaim for no matter which club he's been at. This season, Mark, looks like they're dropping off in that set and this is important to how City play. In fact, we can compare, although I know this season of far, far from done, so the numbers could change in their Premier League rank, but from first, first, third, sixth, fourth, they're currently seventh for this statistic here, the PPDA. So is this an issue, do you think, Mark, for City? Yeah. I mean, I think it's possibly one of uh, a number of issues. That's why we see Manchester City, their recent form slipping a little bit. Um, and I, I think that that's one of the reasons why we're not seeing the, the usual sort of fluent uh, side, obviously, we, with Harlan in, in, the, in the team, the, the way that they play slightly changes. Um, there's not as much of the, in, there's obviously not the interchanging as they used to have. Um, I, I think there's a, there's a number of things that contribute to it. Um, but when you've got a player like Harlan up front, I mean, it's a pretty good substitute, isn't it? When he scores 21 goals um, after what is it, 16 appearances. So it's more of an adjustment for the rest of the players around him um, than necessarily Harlan, I think. It's an interesting point, though, and I want to bring you into this as well, Danny, in terms of City as a whole, because is there a bit too much of an over-reliance on Haaland? Now, I'm just looking at the numbers. The first nine games, City scored 33 goals. In the last seven games, they've scored 11, which is a big drop-off. But also, when they scored all those goals in the opening nine matches, they had eight different goal scorers apart from Haaland. Now, the subsequent seven matches, except for Haaland, they've only had four. It's a big drop off across the I think, board. I think it's a different way of playing that they've got to get used to. They, they haven't had an out and out centre forward for some time. They've been playing the false nine regularly uh, with players moving all over the shop. As, as Mark just said, they've been fluid. You get Foden darting into the nine position. Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva doing that. Mares, you know, Sterling when he was there. Players running beyond where what would be where the normal number nine would be. Haaland's now there. And he's such an immense player. He's such a huge presence that he almost needs his own space. It's like, right, we don't need to go into his space. Let's not get in his way, you know, at times. So they're not making those runs. You know, they're not as dynamic in those forward areas. They're a little bit more rigid, if you like, uh, which is a little bit unusual uh, from what we've seen from Manchester City. But Haaland is so good. As Mark said, he's got 21 goals. I think there's an adaptation to be had between Haaland and the team and the team and Haaland. And, and they haven't quite got it together as yet. And that sounds ridiculous because Erling Haaland scored 21 goals um, already. But when you watch the way that they play, they don't quite press like they used to. Uh, we've just seen that from, from some of the stats. They have to play in a slightly different way. Maybe, and this is when, if you remember, that Pep Guardiola wasn't quite sure about Sergio Aguero when he first came into it. It's like, well, is Aguero going to stay? Is he not? And he had to adapt his game a little bit. It's really hard to do that with Ellen Harland when he scored all those goals. Yeah. That's the biggest problem that you have.